video setups and we'll kind of go from there. So Dylan, uh -huh. why don't we show them what's in the box? Typically when you get this out, it goes out UPS, right? Yes. Take us through it. Awesome. Okay, Dylan, so why don't we go <laughs> through the box when customers receive a new shipment? What, what should they see? You should always see your four foot of suction hose and your 20 foot of dispense, which is with a crimped on auto nozzle. And then you have your bag here with your meter book, pump book, and three clamps. And of course, we have the W85 Hornet continuous duty cycle. This is a my workhorse of a DEF pump. You guys are familiar with this already. We're going to go into benefits and such in a later video. But as you can see, uh, we have a flow meter attached to it. This is all fully assembled on a stainless steel bracket. Unlike some of our competitors that use just you know steel or powder coated, this is a stainless steel bracket. We want this setup to look very nice, you know, six months, one year, two years on the road. So therefore, we went the extra mile and gave you guys this. So ultimately, this is what we call the Hornet W85 Pro Kit. And now we're going to walk you through the two options on dispensing. Uh, that is the Micromatic dispense coupler. So then let's walk to the table and show them. Let's do that. We have two options on the table here. This is the poly dispense coupler. You guys are familiar with how this is set up and we're gonna show you there on the video here in just a second. But nonetheless, uh, this is the poly micromatic coupler. Very happy with it, good success. Half the cost of the original micromatic stainless steel, which Dylan's about to show you next. And this is the original micromatic coupler, which most of y'all are very familiar with. We've had great success with it. Yep, so these, these two items are something that when you call in and you place your order, we always ask you, okay, you know, do you need a coupler? You may already have it on location. You may, you may already be on your tote. We don't know, but we ask you, do you have a preference for one versus the other? So me personally, I like the polycoupler for a lot of reasons. But hey, let's go see how this thing sets up on a tote. Follow me. So Dylan's gonna help us get the pump from the box and we're gonna do a light setup on this tote and we're gonna walk you through the hoses and where to connect things and the you know, micromatic dispense coupler and whatnot. So Dylan, let's show the viewers how to get this thing set up on a tote. Okay. So that's all you know, put together just like that. Boom, boom, boom. So, so where does that go, Dylan? It goes right down here into the suction barb. So we got a three-quarter inch hose barb, correct? Yep. Okay. So make sure that you use your suction hose connected to the bottom of the uh, pump. And then this side, of course, so you guys understand, needs to go into the micromatic dispense coupler. We're doing just a quick light setup. Dylan, obviously you secure this with clamps, don't you? Yep, which are provided inside of your box. Oh, sounds good. So that's the suction part of it. Let's go set up the dispense side. Awesome. This may be a little bit... Uh, Yep, a little bit elementary, but obviously the dispense side is always going to come out after the meter. So make sure that all these hoses are, you know, out of the way. Obviously hose bar, we got to clamp that down. You got your automatic nozzle. You got your 110 plug right here. This goes into an outlet, correct? Goes correct. into an extension cord. Uh, and we're good to go. So this is basically the setup. We got suction hose, again, just to rehash. We got dispense coupler. We've got the pump already mounted on the stainless steel bracket. We've got our meter. we got our dispense hose and automatic nozzle. That took us what, Dylan? Maybe 15 seconds? It's plug and play. Plug and play. He'd probably do it in 10 seconds. But nonetheless, this is it. 
This is part one. This is how you set it up. This is what's in the box. Stay tuned for, you know, essentially talking about the benefits of the pump. And then lastly, troubleshooting. Hey, the pump is turning off after a few seconds. We're gonna walk you through it, right, Dylan? Yes, we can. I mean, these are just standard items that we have to watch out for, but we wanna essentially come up with a three-part series on this. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so quiet on, quiet on the set. Sorry. <laughs> and the other option is the stainless coupler, which a lot of people. Uh, I don't know. Okay, restart it, restart it. I'm so confused. Thanks, bro.